what is up ladies and gentlemen so uh some people told me to check and um do a couple things before i i ride out this grid tie inverter um a lot of people said they have really good luck out of these mine was working until i put it in storage for a year and then i have no idea after that point um but a lot of people are like hey put this since this is 22 to 50 volts put a battery in between it or just hook it up to two batteries two 12 volt batteries and see if it kicks on and see if you get any error codes so um, I have 36 volts of batteries here these are 12 volt 12 volt 12 volt so if I just take two batteries let me try to hold the camera here steady and if I go hold on, positive here and negative there I get 24 volts pretty pretty solid so um, I'm gonna run a wire from there and there over here to the inverter and then I got it plugged into power and then turn it on also people are like make sure you have power on this cable because if you don't um, it won't uh, it'll trip it because this is a grid tie inverter and it has the auto off protection so it won't push power through if it doesn't see power coming in so to speak um, I don't know exactly what that's called, but um, that's not the error code that was blinking off before. So let me wire this up real quick and test it out. Because if that's the case, then that means I'll need to do uh, solar panels to a charge controller to the batteries and then have that hooked up to the inverter. And I guess that's how a lot of people are doing their setups. So let's try it. All right, so I just ran some little jumper wires over. I know they're like, I can't pull any amperage through them or anything. I just kind of want to see um, if I can get this thing not to error out. So let me show you, oh crap, how can I hold this? Uh, that's a little too close. Let's see. Move that guy there. Trying to show you guys that I have 24 volts at the actual um, unit here. See, I got 24.7 at the inverter. So it's actually at right there. So we have plenty. And if we. plug it in and fire it up air run run is it working just blinking. What does that mean? What does that mean? The cooling fans aren't spinning. Huh. Okay, let's look into what blinking means because I'm not sure what that means. But yeah, so I have those wired over there. Are they warm? No, not really. Hmm. Very interesting. All right, I'll be right back. All right, so I've done a little bit more research and come to find out, I was, I am dumb. And you know, and this is no, no surprise here. Um, but I will have to have a battery bank in between the, the inverter and the solar panels. Or maybe at least just a charge controller. I don't know if I need an actual battery bank. But um, I need something to stabilize the power. I don't know. I was reading online and they're like, if you go straight from the solar pa panels to the inverter, the power is like fluctuates a lot. And the inverter won't be able to, at least a cheaper inverter, won't be able to take that power and then put it, turn it from DC to AC. So a lot of people do a charge control or that go solar panels charge controller batteries inverter which makes sense because the batteries would have like a steady amount of power the charge controller charges the batteries from the solar panels and then the inverter pulls the bad the power from the batteries 
So I, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I have some old batteries down at my dad's shop. I just need to make sure that they, I don't need like any fancy deep cycle. I mean, that would be nice. That would give me like, you know, reserve, I guess, whenever the sun goes down, but that's not what I'm looking for. I'm just looking for something to steady the load. So two 12 volt batteries will give me 24 volts and uh, I need a 24 volt charge controller, which I think I have an adjustable charge controller down at the shop as well. Uh, and then I can hook it all up, but, um, yeah, so I'm not going to take my golf cart batteries out because they, they need to stay in the golf cart, but, um, mm, eating my words now. Cause I thought I was going to have to buy another grid tie inverter, which a lot, I'm, I'm probably not going to buy another one of these. I'm going to buy the, the big blue ones. A lot of people have really good luck with those, but if this one still works, even if I put it uh, only, you know, a couple hundred Watts through it. Uh, I'm going to definitely use it, so, all right.